Off we go. Another very few chances in the league game. Liverpool started it very well last Sunday. Looks as though they might be able to take control. Thiago ran the game for the first 20, 25 minutes or so. Playing against Manchester United for the first time in his career, actually. It was a substitute not used for Barcelona in that final in 2011 at Wembley when Barcelona beat Manchester United here in England. Here's Rhys Williams and Trent Alexander-Arnold, who's been a bit of the butt of the criticism of Liverpool. It's not just been his form that's dipped. Collectively, they've got to find a way to get back into the groove, and this gives them an opportunity. Certainly does. Alexander-Arnold's, yes, you're right, has been coming in for a bit of criticism, but he's a top-quality player. His form will return. Just needs to deliver one or two better crosses. Oh, he's going to get the chance, maybe. And quickly to Salah, and here is Alexander Arnold with a chance to set up something. Comes out to Wijnaldum. And they're trying to retrieve it. Manchester United very good on the counter attack. Their away form is testimony to that, where they hit teams on the break. One from Alexander Arnold, Harry Maguire across. Luke Shaw is having a, a good spell. His uh, fitness and his form back. There was another example of Alexander Arnold trying to be too precise with the cutback. It's going to be a good battle between Luke Shaw down this left hand side for Manchester United and Alexander Arnold pushing forward down the right for Liverpool. Liverpool have only reached the quarter finals twice since they last won the FA Cup in 2006. They've been to one final in 2012, but it's not been the top priority you feel for Jurgen Klopp since he's had the job for over five years now. It is Donny van der Beek, and he is playing in the number 10 role. He'll look to make runs beyond Cavani. I first saw him play for the Dutch national sides at under 17, under 19 level. He played a little bit deeper. And he's progressed to Ajax to be a top quality number 10. Salah, it's going to be a key contest, you feel, Salah against Shaw. Off goes uh, Rashford in typical style, Cavani's waiting for a cutback, and he might still get it, in fact, goes back to Pogba. Rashford looks as though he's running out of room, but he kept it in and stayed on his feet. And United stay on the attack with Shaw's cross. And Williams got the final touch there, Donny van der Beek was trying to get across the young defender, and maybe steer it goalwards. Opportunities for the likes of Reese Williams and Nat Phillips because of the uh, bad luck that Liverpool have had with their central defenders. Here's uh, Manchester United's skipper. An England man, Harry Maguire, who's a centre-back, very good at converting these kind of set-piece situations. Sure. Trying to get away from Thiago, Liverpool do get the throw. The drawing last week wasn't the worst result for Liverpool, but then losing at home to Burnley, no disrespect to Burnley, they've had a good result in the Cup today. And Solskjaer must be thinking, well, we've got a wounded animal here. Maybe we can sort of finish them off as far as the FA Cup is concerned, but maybe they'll be dangerous. And, uh, it's going to be fun finding out, that's for sure. Here's Scott McTominay. He's pretty much a go-to man in the big games in midfield these days. I think that's good. He's probably the most athletic of the Manchester United midfield players. He's the one that can close down, he can recover really well. There's a lot of good work in that midfield for Manchester United, McTominay. It's been a, quite a rise for Manchester United after failing to qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League and losing here in the semi-final of the League Cup to neighbours Manchester City. They've really pushed on in the Premier League and taken advantage of Liverpool's 
recent shortcomings. This competition does remain a high priority for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's tasted success in it himself as a player. And Manchester United want to get back on the winner's rostrum. Rashford early, it was a good idea and nearly bounced over the head of Alisson. Cavani is uh, getting uh, eyeball to eyeball with the Liverpool goalkeeper. And we talk about them having to use their feet more these days, to use their heads sometimes as well in more ways than one. Well, that's exactly what we saw Burnley try and do. Burnley played with two up front and every time they had the chance they tried to bend balls in behind the two centre-halves of Liverpool. Cavani was nearly in there. Sure. To Cavani. Greenwood. Now Pogba. Seems to uh, be a bit more settled. You know, remember, it's his second spell with Manchester United and there's been a lot of talk about a second departure. Certainly he's uh, playing well himself and for the team. Rashford. Now Maguire. It's caught uh, advantage, played not much advantage to Maguire himself. It's back to his feet. Away by Williams. Thiago. He did the uh, start, Stuart, didn't he, as an attacking midfield player. He scored lots of goals early in his career. He's not shown that side of his game since he's come to Liverpool, but then he hasn't played very much at all. When, when he was at Barcelona, it was always Busquets that was the holding midfield player, and he played further forward when either Xavi or Iniesta weren't in the side or were injured. Bayern Munich, he always plays the holding midfield player, he would get forward and score goals, but a very creative passer. Fabinho, we haven't really mentioned that, of course, he's a midfield player playing pretty much as the first choice centre back at the moment and doing a very good job. Alexander Arnold. Saka just stuck out a foot in the nick of time, helped out by Greenwood. Lindelof, who didn't uh, play in midweek, but did play at Anfield. It was a bit of a comeback game for him, and he knocks that out of the Liverpool-born Curtis Jones. Yeah, he was definitely playing out on the left-hand side of that attacking three. Firmino was playing through the middle, so, uh, slightly to the right. Here's the challenge from Milner. Wasn't as bad as it looked at the time. He's trying to block the ball out to the wide area. And Klopp trying to follow in the footsteps of Crystal Palace, Spurs, and Arsenal, who have won Premier League games here, and Manchester City have won in the League Cup semi final. They were very slow to start Manchester United in terms of home games. Their form has picked up a fair bit since then on their own. Patch. Liverpool had something of a free pass really through the third round. Aston Villa hit by that uh, Covid outbreak. All the players who face Liverpool at Villa Park and were making their first team debuts. So they, for an hour they did very well. It was 1-1 uh, until Wijnaldum came up with the goal that just pushed it back into Liverpool's favour and then he pulled away for that 4-1 win. He had a bit of trouble with Louis Barry on the Villa goal. Well, having watched Reese Williams, he's very good in the air. Not quite so sure he's got pace to recover, doesn't always see the danger. And that's what happened with Louis Barry, got in behind him and raced away from him. Van der Beek. Greenwood's motoring here. Rashford coming into the middle. Van der Beek's there for a cutback. Greenwood going all the way himself. As if Liverpool were not expecting him to do that. And really uh, caught them out. Salah through the middle. 
Mina's forward ball was a bit speculative. Thiago wins it back. Wijnaldum. Salah. Alexander Arnold to use. And there's a ball across the face of the goal that almost opened up Manchester United. Reminiscent of some of Alexander Arnold's positioning in the second half of the game at Anfield last Sunday. He's encouraged, I think, at half time to get further forward for a better angle for the balls in. That previous one was a much better cross. He didn't try and pick anybody out, he just played it with pace in between the defenders and the goalkeeper, ready for players to go and attack. And Masaka. Tomine. Manchester United have won their past seven home FA Cup ties without conceding a goal. Tomine emphasizes how tall the order is for Liverpool. Both sides, which is Part of the uh, engrossing nature of this contest have game-changing players, match-winning players. Jones. Now Thiago. Greenwood was there to stop Robertson getting further forward. Andy Robertson has been in the better form than Trent Alexander-Arnold in terms of the creative part of Liverpool's game. Both of them played a huge part in the success over the last two seasons. And making goals and scoring the odd ones themselves as well. Lindelof lost a little bit of Greenwood, but here's uh, Pogba. Tomine. again the challenge by Thiago not so good says the referee and Thiago thought he'd press successfully then yeah, and I would agree with you that was looked to be a good tackle from Thiago As I said, he's not known for his defensive qualities he saw that the ball was played into McTominay just nicked it off of him they got lucky there so, uh, trying to use the defender as a screen Oh, and Cavani shouldn't have been allowed to get that. It was uh, Reese Williams with a mistake. Rashford, Cavani looking for other avenues of support. Greenwood, a step over or six, and a shot that's off target. He is more left-footed than right. He's by no means a mug on his right foot. He didn't hit the target then. He's upset a couple of his teammates in the last few minutes. Didn't have the cutback. Previous time he attacked down this side. Robertson just backs off and backs off. Doesn't dive in. In the end, he doesn't do enough. This was that previous moment when Greenwood was racing towards goal. Thiago's never going to catch him. Reese Williams is blocking the cutback off, and that's why Greenwood goes for goal here. Doesn't even have a look to see there's a cutback on. Just tries to pass it into the far corner. Well, he's in that stage in his career where he knows he could be in the first team regularly, but uh, he's not at the moment, and he's trying to maybe just overprove that he should be. It's fair to say, Stuart, that um, Ali and Solskjaer looking at the Liverpool team sheet couldn't have been sure exactly how the opposition would line up here. There has uh, been an easier spot for Jurgen Klopp looking at the United 11. Yeah, it's as we were led to believe that Curtis Jones is playing out on the left hand side, he may tuck in at times. 
Talk that there'd be uh, just one holding midfield player and a midfield four and just leaving Firmino up front by himself. That's certainly not the case. I'm not sure that the position suits Curtis Jones. Happy uh, on the left. In fact, that probably is his favourite position, Marcus Rashford. Obviously gets asked to play on the right and also through the centre. Those who've worked with him suggest that that is his preferred option. Too much in the early position. Not bad for Liverpool away from home. Much like this. They certainly haven't sat off, and here they come again with Curtis Jones. Robert Thiago. And said, Give it to me. A little bit of speculation about his future at the end of the season. Are going to Spain or to Italy? Or staying at Anfield? Thiago. Milner took it well. It wasn't an easy ball to take. Just got away from. He scored against Manchester United. James Milner for four different clubs, including one for Liverpool. Villa, Manchester City, and Newcastle are the others. by Lindelof. Here's Cavani. He came as a little bit of a speculative, a bit of a punt by Manchester United, but it's a gamble that looks as though it's paying off. And here's Rashford. And wins the home team a corner. I think he's going to go down the outside there and use his pace in 1v1. As soon as he cut back, he ran into a bit of trouble. Reese Williams defended it well, forced him back inside where Alexander Arnold was backing him up. Once again, Maguire, you think would be the main target here. Taken by Shaw. Actually, it was Pogba who got to it. It didn't reach Maguire. Suggests that there is a game of bluff and counter bluff, maybe. At the set pieces. Fabinho. Now one out. Salah played in, and Mo Salah gives Liverpool the lead at Old Trafford. With 18 minutes gone, suddenly there was incision from Jurgen Klopp's team, and some of the disappointments of recent times, for the moment, put to one side. It's a big goal for them, and Salah has delivered on the big stage again. Well, it's a little bit too easy from Manchester United's point of view. And Aldum into Firmino, gets himself turned, and he just runs in between Lindelof and Luke Shaw. First touch is excellent, the second is even better. But there's no way he should have that space. Luke Shaw should be round on the cover. Lindelof just lost him for a second. They have a little look at the offside line, and he's certainly onside. What a good finish that is, with his weaker foot, it has to be said. Just what Liverpool needed. Well, he had to wait a while to open his account against Manchester United. He scored in a home win late in the game last season. And that famed front three, and Mane, of course, not starting today, have not got that many goals against today's opponent, but Salah's got one here. And from the Liverpool point of view, it was excellent. Just wondered, Stuart, the two centre-halves were the opposite way round, weren't they? Lindelof had come to the left, and he's uh, normally here on the right. How the passage of play had led to that happening. It opened up, it was just a, a chink in the defensive armour. Mo Salah and Firmino's pass, good enough to make that a real weakness. And it's Manchester United nil, Liverpool 1. Well, that's when Mo Salah's at his best, when he's on the half-turn, ready to run down the side of defenders, not when he's coming back towards the ball. 
Firmino picked out the right pass, the right angle on it, the right weight. It's a really good run and a finish from Mo Salah. And he's picked only two of the three amigos. But they have uh, done the business to give Liverpool, who have been so short of goals, a very precious one here at Manchester United. win since Christmas was against that understrength Aston Villa team. Trying going in again, Maguire gets it away, not very far. Milner, Wijnaldum. It was a good ball played in by Alexander-Arnold again. Just bending it into the space, Firmino was trying to pull off the back of his mark. Here it is again, as you said. Lindelof was playing on the left-hand side, and he starts to run back, he just loses Salah, Shaw doesn't get round on the cover or see the danger early enough, and one ball beats the two of them. What a good finish it was from the Egyptian. It's a wasteful one from McTominay. Jones. Thiago, Wijnaldum. Thiago again finding a pass in the right weight of it. Probably just unbalanced him a little bit. He looked sharp when he came on against Burnley, Mo Salah. Started on the bench. He was on the bench by Jurgen Klopp. But when he came on, he looked player most likely to cause damage. He was the one making forward runs, and he's just made another excellent forward run there. Firmino, and Liverpool could be uh, opening him up again, a strong shot from Jones' central position, but straight into the central part of the goal where Dean Henderson had it covered. Although know, he's playing out on the left-hand side, he will tuck in at times. Maguire. Uh, Reese Williams, you mentioned he is very good in the air, tall young man. Doesn't always mean he's good in the air, but he is. Ronaldo <laughs> waiting in the middle. Oh, a bit theatrical from Firmino. And it's given, it's just outside. Yeah, Greg Paulson waited to see whether there was anything more to accrue for Liverpool. They actually blew the whistle when they were still in possession here. Mm -hmm. There's the run, there's the challenge, just catches his man, McTominay. Firmino threatening to maybe pass it with his right foot, chops it back across Pogba, then McTominay. Tried to suggest he pulled his foot out of the way, but I don't think he did it in time. And Liverpool are looking threatening. And uh, they get possession. This could be a great way to announce that your form is back for Alexander Arnold. He's uh, the prime candidate for this. He started a Premier League for the first time in a game here at Old Trafford. And this time he tries to score at Old Trafford. It was a big gesture of faith, that initial selection from Jurgen Klopp a couple of years back, and he's gone from strength to strength. The, uh, another local Liverpool lad in the Liverpool team. <laughs> Williams there with the header. Pretty brave challenge by Thiago to fold the ball, knowing perhaps that Rashford, a taller man, might catch him, but they've uh, both been damaged a little bit. No uh, cynicism involved. Eye on the ball. He jumps early, Thiago. That's what gives him the advantage. Rashford was claiming that he got a slight whack on the head. Probably did. And he was looking to get out of the way, Rashford. <laughs> but um, he's OK. So is Thiago. So's the game. 
No goals in 90 minutes at Anfield last Sunday. One in 18 here at Old Trafford. Just a week later. Thiago. Too easy for Manchester United, but they've actually got some distance to the defending, but not that much. Milner. Wijnaldum. Firmino. It was a foul by the Brazilian, but again, Craig Pawson keen on letting the advantage go. Manchester United were in possession, and it's a fantastic ball from Rashford, and the equaliser slotted in by Mason Greenwood. Well, that's what Manchester United do. They hit you on the break, and Rashford set it up, and Greenwood did the rest, and it's 1-1 in the cup tie. What a pass this is from Marcus Rashford. Just about gets it over the recovering defender. And he talked about Greenwood not being quite so good on his right foot. Well, he does everything right here. He started in and around the box. Good tackle from Pogba. That started it off. And the bait out to Marcus Rashford. Look at this for a pass. Just about gets enough power from a the ball's underneath his feet. Milner's the recovering defender, can't get there. And what a good finish into the far corner past Allison from Greenwood. That's the pass that made it. And that's the finish that drew the equaliser. And the two centre-backs for Liverpool obviously looking at everything that happens against them. And the absentees were drawn across and James Milner, not Jordan Henderson, in terms of maybe cutting that one out if it, uh, in a switch of play. But Mason Greenwood, his first start against Liverpool, his first time he's faced them here at Old Trafford, and he's marked it with a goal. And an important one, too. And, uh, the Liverpool lead didn't last ten minutes. And United are off and running again. Rashford's off and running here. Van der Beek keeping pace, which isn't easy. And he's going to get in here, Donny van der Beek. Comes back to Pogba, and some appeals for a penalty as uh, Van der Beek ended up on the deck. Well, van der Beek didn't try and lift it over the goalkeeper, he tried to play it across, knowing that the goalkeeper was sliding out. It was a good run from Van der Beek, he made a lot of ground up here to get beyond Rashford. That takes some doing to get beyond someone so quick as Rashford. He runs past, past Thiago, it's a well-weighted pass. And he's just trying to play it across into a dangerous area. Anderson comes sliding out. Just there, he does catch him. It's whether Van der Beek was actually trying to get to the ball himself. I don't think he was, so I don't think they're going to change this. Now, Thiago just pulled out, didn't he? Realised if he'd stuck a foot in there, he could well have conceded a penalty. Manchester United do get plenty of penalties, something you can discuss with Jurgen Klopp. Maguire, but it's living up to the potential here at Old Trafford. The goal apiece, not yet half an hour gone. Maguire, he's giving it away. It's not to been devoid of mistakes. Maybe that's just adding to the charm of it all. Jones. Williams. Fabinho. Prepared to come forward. It does look as though maybe uh, attack is the best form of defence for Liverpool. Not quite that kind of attack. Yeah, Robertson had run offside. Milner didn't really need to play the ball there. Just had to keep it. Actually, Milner did everything right in terms of his recovery run because you should always be running back towards your goal rather than running out wide. Unfortunately, the ball was absolutely perfect from Marcus Rashford. Yeah, 
Yeah, even the touch from Milner might just have slowed Greenwood down a bit, but uh, it was one of the passes of this uh, FA Cup weekend. If not beyond that in terms of praise, it was a ball conceived with imagination. And uh, imagination became reality. Pawson in the way. This, uh, Law now, the referee has to stop the play, but he gives it back to the team in possession. There's been no real complaints about that. It's quite a simple way to restart the game and it keeps the refs <laughs> out of uh, any suggestion that they might have played a pass or two. Here's uh, Thiago. Liverpool looking to strike back again, but that's just uh, ahead of Bobby Firmino. Started very brightly, as has Thiago just behind him. Maguire. Manchester United won, Liverpool won. Greenwood won, Salah won. Fabinho. touch in the first place for Firmino but going for a moment Liverpool long again fancying that ball over the top Wijnaldum transfer window of course is open still for a few more days The outsiders, at, the ex-players at Liverpool, think that the club should invest in a, another centre-back. The club not wanted to have somebody who maybe in a few weeks is not going to play at all and be a burden on the squad, but has been definitely exploited by the opposition, particularly since Van Dijk's injury and that uh, rather bruising Merseyside derby, which also... Saw them lose Thiago for a while, being fouled by Richarlison, who was sent off in that incident. Fabinho. Milner, 35 now. It's 35 at uh, the start of the month. And the goes across. Squirted off his studs. Liverpool have a corner. He read the danger, just didn't deal with it particularly well, Maguire. We'll talk about his lack of form at the beginning of the season, but he has played well in recent weeks, back to his best. Thiago. Oh, Salah has become the first away player to score an effort cup goal here since Dimitri Payet for West Ham for five years ago. Thiago speaks perfect English, by the way, so any discussion with Craig Pawson will not uh, lose anything in terms of the vernacular. Ended up being a little nutmeg here from Marcus Rashford. Thiago decided he was going to dive in. Didn't fancy Rashford knocking it past him and running. Of real football stock, Thiago. His father won the World Cup with Brazil. Thiago could have played for Brazil on that qualification. Could have played for Italy. He was born in Italy when his dad was playing in Serie A. He was brought up in Spain. So Luke Shaw. He was a little bit culpable on the Liverpool goal. Having a ball. Trying to help Manchester United now go in front. Ended by Williams. Yeah, trying to hold a high line here, Liverpool. All bent in behind them, and Cavani would have been offside had it gone to him. He'd gone anywhere off Williams. Shaw's next job is to take the corner. Oh, 
your pace on it, and uh, it was a decent chance. Given that uh, he just had to keep it down, Paul Pogba used the pace on the ball. But he'll be a bit more pleased now, and this side is very good at coming from behind. I've shown this season. You're absolutely right, it's a chance here for Paul Pogba, certainly to get it on target. He just stayed out the danger zone. The players were running into it, certainly the defensive side were. Just found that bit of space on the edge of the box. We are starting to see the real Pogba in recent games. The former Manchester United uh, and England right back Gary Neville believes that if Manchester United are to win the Premier League, that Paul Pogba is their most important player. What it probably means is they need Pogba to be at his potentially imperious best. Can bestride any game, it hasn't always been the case, of course. Rashford, he sprint after that to Shaw. He did well to keep that alive. It was a little bit strong for the left back. He's won a corner out of it. Well, he's got deceptive pace. The Liverpool players thought that had gone out of play, but actually you know, they've got a corner here. Pogba connected with the last one. Sure, again, same methodology, and uh, Liverpool aren't defending it very well. McTominay. Yeah, the outswinger means it's got to be a, a powerful header from... 10 to 12 yards, but they're getting the first contacts here. Well, he's up against Curtis Jones, and Curtis Jones is watching him rather than the ball. He's always going to be second best there. Liverpool midfielder. He's come through the ranks, Scott McTominay. He's a Scotland international, he's not... Actually born in Scotland, he's from the northwest of England. He's just really picked out by Jose Mourinho, who uh, created a, an award for one of the seasons that he was here, the manager's player of the season. And McTominay was the first recipient. Somebody said, if you think that I'm that good, I'll have another contract, please. <laughs> Shaw, mistake by Salah, and Manchester United counter-attack again. Shaw for Cavani, and the bake in the middle, it comes back, Shaw lets it run for Rashford. It was clever from Thiago, whose uh, body language influenced the referee not to say he'd obstructed the chance for uh, United to get into a shooting position. Challenge on the edge of the box, Thiago. I don't think does too much wrong. Certainly, the arms raise was of a, an innocent party. That's been a very good first, well, almost 40 minutes here. The league game ended up where it was more important not to lose than to win, but it can't be like that in the FA Cup. You've got to. You're either in or you're out at the end of the evening here. Kickoff was at uh, five o'clock local time. Tomine trying to do a bit too much. And one back by Curtis Jones, who does not lack confidence. Milner for Robertson. Liverpool round the back here. Oh, it's over for Mino, who's so deft at getting into those positions, just to nod it over the line. Stand up was just too long, and all United have lost is a corner. Good pass from Milner here. Goes between Wambasaka and Greenwood. He keeps it in play. That's too much on it. Alexander Arnold with the corner. Oh, by McTominay. It was there to be hit. I, uh, the man known as Millie in the game. Oh. 
sure. Good movement by Rashford if he was onside. That's, uh, no subsequent flag. That's officials, as you're all realising by now, told to keep their flags down. Until uh, the move uh, comes to an end. Needed a slightly desperate lunge by Harry Maguire. And he got there. Well, that's a couple of times now that Pogba's just been caught on the ball. That time by Milner. Could have started the counter attack off for Liverpool. Maguire coming across. Well, Bruno Fernandes, who actually had taken off later Anfield, and not in the best of humour. And partly because of that, partly because he was having a bit of a verbal battle with Wijnaldum, who'd seen his number come up and was sort of gesturing him to get off the pitch. There was a delay because uh, Manchester United had another injury problem, but he, he was taken off and now it's Alisson, a dangerous ball into Fabinho. And, uh, Fabinho trying to solve the puzzle there that Alisson gave him has been booked and United have a free kick late in the first half in a pretty threatening position. Said it's not a good pass from Alisson, invites the challenge, he misses the ball completely, doesn't he, Fabinho? I'm not sure Greenwood was going for the ball in, he was running down the side of it. But the foul certainly was from Fabino. It doesn't help his role. The burden of a yellow card for the second half, or maybe even extra time. Oh, Paul Pogba who scored startling goals at Burnley and Fulham recently. He's a bit more likely to take this than Luke Shaw, but it could be the ultimate bluff by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and let Shaw have a go at it, but Pogba has been in such great form, and he takes it on. It doesn't add to his list of recent spectacular goals. It's probably better than the one from Alexander-Arnold up the other end. It's a bit more whip on this, but... Never threatened the goal. Trying to go around the wall. Asking for a pretty extravagant bend. Alexander Arnold. Trying to stay down. It's close to going out. He had to rather hoof it forward in a hurry with the subsequent lack of accuracy. Nice uh, strong play on the ball by McTominay for Manchester United. And the pass is good too to Rashford, who's already set up the equaliser. Van der Beek, Shaw joining in, looking for Cavani in the middle. Comes out to McTominay, plenty to aim at, but also a lot of bodies between him and the goal. He's the man in the right place at the right time, Thiago, as that ball came back into the box. Good play down this left-hand side for Manchester United. Shaw getting forward again. Link-up play with Rashford, Van der Beek, and Shaw at the end of it. Pogba. Rashford oh, was uh, as wrong as the pass that made the goal was right. Oh, too much weight on that. Cavani was spinning down the side of Rhys Williams. Chance just to roll the ball down and let Cavani have a go. The young centre back. You see, does lack that little bit of pace. and gets there. Play against Liverpool a couple of times for Sheffield United. Unfortunately, in the game at Bramall Lane, he made a mistake late in the game as goalkeepers make mistakes very costly and Wijnaldum got the only goal of that particular match. He's uh, a great prospect. The, uh, number two at the moment, Manchester United goalkeeper with a lot of ambition to be the number one. Suggest the talent also. 
Alexander Arnold, not easy for Lindelof. High foot. Just the one added minute, and De Rashford trying to use every second of it. And he might be able to do that for Manchester United here. Rashford. Greenwood can set up Pogba. Goes for goal. And that's his kind of distance. Quite the free kick. Didn't hit the target. And Rashford was away again. Does well to keep it in here, just flicks it over the sliding challenge of Reese Williams. That's had a decent pass as well to Greenwood, who just sets up Paul Pogba. You see exactly what he's trying to do, but he doesn't wrap his foot around it quite far enough. Stuart, your final thoughts on this first half? It's been an intriguing one. Liverpool got off to that great start. I just feel that both defences can be caught square at times if the right pass is made, if the right run is made by the front players or midfield players, there is a threat in behind both ends of the field, so it should make for a good second half. Manchester United haven't gone out as early in the competition as this round since 2014, when they knocked out actually in the previous round, the third round by Swansea. To the quarterfinals, all better. All well, six seasons since then. I remember, they have won it 12 times. 20 finals. Confirmation of the team lineups for you. Headed by Reese Williams. Pogba. Williams just getting a little bit too tight. Pogba accidentally catching Wijnaldum. Yeah, he's trying to run away from here, both are using their arms. There's a little hand in the face from Paul Pogba, just trying to hand him off. Subsequently by Williams leads to this Luke Shaw free kick. Aiming for Maguire, who actually took Wijnaldum out of proceedings and was punished for that. I've got to say that's a really poor free kick for Manchester United. Liverpool were holding a high line outside their box almost. That's just got to be whipped into the space. The likes of Cavani to make his run. Mane and Shakiri warming up. And there's plenty of warming to be done today. Anderson taking charge. Playing safe and sensible. Saw Bruno Fernandes walk out actually for the second half alongside Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, probably whispering in his ear saying, come on, get me on. He loves to play. Play every minute if he could. Arguably the acquisition of the calendar year 2020 in English football. Be a, a change of foot. Linders. Oh, and it's missed by Williams. And Manchester United are in here in the shape of Marcus Rashford. He doesn't miss. And Reese Williams makes the mistake. Rashford pounces. And Manchester United, who were 1 0 down, have turned another game around here. Well, there's another ball in behind Liverpool that's caused problems. He's frustrated. Tried to make the interception, Reese Williams. He has to make it. But once Rashford goes through, I think this is a good finish from him. Pogba tries to nick it there. Cavani nicks it away. There's the ball over the top. He's just about on side. Looking at that, it's a very high line. He tries to sweep it away with his left foot. Not a good effort. What a good finish that is. Just passes it beyond Allison. Had he been 
offside. That would have played him onside because Williams was definitely trying to clear it. Wasn't a, a little deflection off him. That uh, law has been uh, highlighted in a couple of recent games. And Rashford just looked the goalkeeper in the eye and put the ball in the corner. Well, if Klopp was thinking about making a substitution, he may have made his mind up for him. So Liverpool who are in the uh, slightly too familiar position of trailing in a game. Something that in the last couple of years so rarely happened. But they're certainly still in the contest, and Milner to get Robertson forward. Quick off the blocks was uh, Juan Pesaka. Thiago. Salah. by Maguire, Alexander Arnold who played the initial ball and got it back again. And whips it in low. Camino took it actually off the toes of Wijnaldum. Back in by Robertson, but too much on it. And, uh, Pope, uh, wanting it to go and making sure it does. Well, it must be very frustrating for Jurgen Klopp. The team collectively not playing particularly well but individual errors you can't legislate for that he's a young player Reese Williams he's been thrust higher up the ladder probably than uh, he's been uh, prepared for this season because of the loss of well, Gomez would play in that right sided position with Van Dijk in their optimum defensive pairing Both out since the autumn and no immediate signs of return So, United lead 2-1, early in the second half. Greenwood. There's a push. Oh, Rashford's ended up going down the slope and uh, almost coming off worse. He had too many grounds for complaint, really. He was knocking Fabinho over. Well, maybe that high left foot. What do you think, Stuart? Six one half dozen the other. You know, probably could have dropped that foot that little bit lower, but it was a push by Rashford in the first place. It's a great attempt to switch it from one side of the field to the other. When things aren't quite going your way, just five yards ahead of Robertson on that occasion. Yeah, unlike Rashford pass, United spot on at the moment. But, uh, brought about the equaliser. Liverpool look to come again, and they've certainly got the capacity to do that. Curtis Jones. Williams. Alexander-Arnold. Assistance from him. And also from uh, Wijnaldum, who showed great strength there under pressure from Pogba. Fabinho. And by Robertson. Saka did pretty well then. Rashford. Cavani. For Mason Greenwood. Manchester United score again, and it will be tough for Liverpool. Flick from Cavani couldn't quite get it into the path of Greenwood. Just swapped sides for the moment. Rashford and Greenwood. Greenwood out on that left-hand side. Actually playing through the middle with Cavani. Here's McTominay. Pogba. Saka can't quite make it. The history of these cup meetings, the home side has usually won the day. Of course, there have been plenty of big games on neutral venues, a couple of finals. The old Wembley, a couple of semi-finals as well. 
Here's Rashford's pass. Cavani tries to flick it into the path of Greenwood. Chilis couldn't take Greenwood to get his shot away there. They are such a threat on the counter-attack with the pace of the two wide players and the movement of Edison Cavani. Well, one thing that I think attracted uh, Manchester United, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, is that he understands what has been often referred to as the DNA of Manchester United. That this is the way that they played in Solskjaer's successful time as a player. Fast forwards, good physical attributes. And what he's had to do is, he says, toughen them up, both physically and mentally, to reach a, a significant improvement. Whether it's going to be good enough to get trophies, we'll see. Pogba. And on the subject of mentality, it's a test of the psychological state of these Liverpool players as well, having taken the lead here and then having uh, gone behind to an individual error. And not, as they say, in the best place at the moment, generally. I'm not sure Rashford did enough there to convince wamba second where he wanted the ball played, he stuck out an arm but didn't actually make the run. Robertson, that's one of the real leaders of the Liverpool pack. Forward by Wijnaldum, Salah lets it run, gets it back from Firmino, whose touch was a little careless there, but he's gone to try and win it back again and again. Be a United throw off Bobby Firmino. His first touch really let him down there, he was in a good position as well. His only goal actually against Manchester United came in a Euro Europa League tie when they were paired together a few years back now. It's his 14th appearance for Liverpool against the Red Devils. Fabinho. Now Thiago. He's been getting much more game time recently, though not in a particularly successful run of results, but he's doing his best to show what a valuable acquisition he is the, uh, you mentioned Barcelona, but Bayern Munich, of course. And the Champions League success. Time to move on. And he's uh, been a welcome figure here in England. He'd like to have had better stats at this stage in the season. Injury has prevented that happening. Wijnaldum. Here is Thiago. And, oh, what a chance. Firmino made the challenge, Milner was on the move, but stretching for it from close range. He put it high and not very handsome. But that's better from Liverpool. Thiago getting on the ball, no thought of playing backwards, wants to play the forward pass. Milner making a forward run. Firmino also trying to get in between defenders, gets that little flick on. Times he's run to perfection, James Milner. Just can't get above it. Try and slide it like that, but just needs to hit the top half of the ball. Frustration for him. But a reminder to Manchester United, the job is certainly not done yet. And Firmino and Milner lets it run. Salah's there, and Salah doesn't miss. Two for Mo Salah, two for Liverpool. 2-2 two, two in the game. And it's living up very much to the expectation here between the two most decorated football clubs in England. Once again, Milner from midfield making a dynamic run forward. Just unsettling the Match United back four. He's, you said he doesn't miss, but Match United over the course of the season, how many times have they tried to play out from the back and not do it particularly well? Cavani with a poor pass, Milner intercepts. 
It's an easy pass back to Milner, just lets it run. I think he does let it run for Salah. And on his left foot, just sweeps it in. That's a great lead from James Milner, isn't it? Completely wrong foot to Maguire. And he passes it in the end between the legs of the goalkeeper, Henderson. Yeah, sure couldn't quite get across on the cover. And we... Uh... Pointed out the individual failing of a young player, Reese Williams. Edmonds and Cavani comes into the same category, giving the ball away in that. And of course, with vastly more experience. And here we are, not quite at the hour mark. And it's 2 2 at Old Trafford. I think it's the pass into him from Maguire. They actually worked it quite well. They rolled the ball into him midway inside their own half. It's a ball that he should be getting control and maybe even turning, just trying to sweep it somewhere to this near side and got it all wrong goals keep uh, flying for Mo Salah 113 now in Liverpool's colours in all competitions he's on a hat-trick here Fabinho. It's, uh, delightfully done by Thiago. And here is Salah, maybe eyeing up the hat trick. It's uh, Alexander Arnold, though, parried away for the corner by Henderson, who's suddenly seeing a lot of the action. Well, I think Alexander Arnold's got every right to shoot here. Just takes his first touch out of his feet. Actually, hits it too cleanly, straight at Henderson. It's a nice height for the goalkeeper as well, he can just push it away. Tiago couldn't quite get the elevation that time. Robertson skims it out to Salah. Oh, very trustworthy left foot, just let him down there. So Sadio Mane is... Ready for action. Anderson didn't need any second bidding to come out and deal with that. Money for Jones, maybe. It's going to be Wijnaldum. Yeah, Jones will just move back one slot into where Wijnaldum was playing and Mane will take up his usual position out on the left-hand side, making those diagonal runs from outside to in. Such a threat when he does that. Team won't know their history, but a hundred years ago this month, the last time Liverpool won an away FA Cup tie at Manchester United. Lindelof. 1-0 up, 2-1 down, now 2-2. Where do we go from here? Well, the bacon in a hurry to take the throw. Liverpool reacted quickly. Short. Sure. Wan Bissaka. McTominay. Maguire is showing more and more confidence to step into those kind of areas, both for Manchester United and for England. Lindelof trying to do something similar. McTominay. Which a play from Pogba. Shaw. It's uh, Thiago who intervenes for Liverpool. It was Curtis Jones playing on the right hand side of that central midfield three, and Milner's come to the left. 
It's gone out of play, and uh, the fact that Maguire was scurrying suggests that uh, actually the play's been restarted quickly with the throw. And you had to try and keep it in. Greenwood a bit too strong for Robertson. Reese Williams will be feeling a little bit happier with life. That uh, particular piece of damage has been repaired. Mane. And Firmino. Stamped away, but only as far as Robertson by Maguire. And Bissaka, who loves the sliding challenge. It looked as though it went out off the Liverpool man. Paulson obviously didn't see it that way. There were some strong appeals for the uh, United goal kick from down beneath us in the uh, dugout. Robertson. Thiago and Milner going for the same ball. Now Milner and Firmino going for the same ball. Firmino seized it. Thiago. Jones, Thiago, and out by Van der Beek. Alexander Arnold going in, made contact with the raised foot, but contact with the ball. Now Salah. It's just too long for Trent Alexander Arnold. This will be a Manchester United change. And it's a double one. Fred and Bruno Fernandes. Greenwood has left an imprint on the game. And Van der Beek still really trying to make an imprint on his Manchester United career. And it's a straight swap in that area just off the front. Sees the Dutchman depart and the Portugal international Bruno Fernandes come on. Yeah, it's difficult for Van der Beek when you haven't played too many games and you've got to try and make an impression in a big game like this. Didn't have that much of the ball in this second half. Probably struggling a bit fitness-wise. They've not played many full games. For me, no. Strength from Liverpool, resolve from Liverpool. And is there going to be a hat-trick for Liverpool for Salah? Henderson made the save to deny the Egyptian a historic uh, achievement here. <laughs> Firmino was strong in the build-up of that. Williams, having found a second goal, Liverpool look as though they found a second wind. Defensive point of view, that's worrying for Manchester United. That they allow that ball, that easy ball, just to be played in behind Shaw and Salah's in there again. Nicely read by Reese Williams. Thiago. Made off by Firmino. Get wide by Jones. really risen to the challenge here looking to get in front for the second time in the game that's not going to help though and Thiago's touch actually was quite a rescue act Williams Thiago Firmino Milner Thiago of the play on this uh, near touch line. They're playing with a bit of authority here. Liverpool finding that mental toughness that need in this circumstance. He's almost finding a go ahead goal here. They might still. Actually, Pogba did well to get it away from. Uh, Robertson, Mane trying to get it back, McTominay, Mane, that's a 
a tackle that sums up the rivalry, really, and the intensity of this particular match. Well, it's a full-blooded challenge, wasn't it, by Mane? Sliding in, so he's got a yellow card. Well, it looked like foot on ball, but the uh, replay might tell us a different story. He won the ball there, and then he goes into the next challenge, goes to ground. He goes with his studs up, that's what the referee didn't like. That's why he's giving him a yellow card. Yeah, he gets the ball to start with, it's the follow-through that catches Fred. Well, that's a modern-day yellow card, and the welfare of players is very important. It carried a certain amount of risk, but not enough to turn uh, yellow even to a thought of red. Here's the team in red, They've just been... Knocked off their stride recently. The last seven or eight minutes. Maguire trying to lead some reimposition on the match. Short. Sure. Haven't quite been as trustful on that left hand side, even though it came to a goal, but that was an individual error. As they were in the first half when Luke Shaw was on the gallop outside Rashford most of the time. Bruno Fernandes able to turn, blocked by Fabinho. Substitute again. Oh, and that <laughs> was a missed kick. <laughs> and Alisson was a bit concerned that it might be one of those freaky moments that the, the signs an FA Cup tie. Yeah, Bruno Fernandes was trying to bend that into the space between the fullback and the centre half. For Cavani to run onto, and he, it's a complete missed kick. Here's that chance for Mo Salah. Times his run to perfection in behind Shaw. The first touch is a good one. He tries to just poke it with his right foot beyond Henderson. Doesn't get enough on it in the end. That's quite a weak finish. Not sure what he was looking for. That's why he's frustrated. He did get to the fifth round last season. Liverpool but drew Chelsea away. So he actually knocked out both these teams on the way to getting to the final where they were beaten by Arsenal. So you see through to the fifth round earlier today with a win over championship side Luton Town. Patrick from Tammy Abraham. And a missed penalty from Timo Werner who's not really been firing for the London club. Liverpool looking to fire here though. It's a difficult one, but if anyone's got the technique to do that, it's this fella. He's frustrated with himself. That's a chance for him. When it comes out to him on the edge of the box, it's only a chance to get a good shot away. Just got to hit the top half of the ball. As you can see, he hits the bottom half, it spins over the crossbar. Short. Sure. A weak one from McTominay and Manchester United have let their standards drop. And Liverpool maybe have been responsible for that with more ambitious play. McTominay and Fred have really been the, uh, the top two pairing in the Premier League for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, certainly for the bigger games. Fred on now. Fernandez. People are trying to get into the game from the right hand side. This is where he spent a fair bit of the game at Anfield last week. Yeah, he's playing higher up the field now. And substitutions, the, there's the two holding midfield players, but Tomane and Fred. Pogba will tuck in. Now trying to get inside uh, wan -Bissaka. It's Andrew Arnold. Trying to express himself in those range of passes again. With Tomane. The worry for Liverpool is if Manchester United can get up ahead of steam again, whether their defence is strong enough to not concede for a third time. Salah. Thiago challenged and dispossessed by Cavani. 
Pogba being urged on by the Manchester United coaching staff. It's gone a long way here. And then there's no end product at the end of it. The Liverpool defenders were really concerned because Pogba got into the penalty area. And if it had looked who was at the side of him, who was doing the chasing, I think it was Thiago. I think he'd have gone on a bit further there, Paul Pogba. Talked about it earlier, Thiago was a wonderful passer of the ball, but hasn't really got any pace. He's not a strong runner. Milner. Just overcooking it. One of two players slide down the bank. And a slightly raised Old Trafford pitch. Well, there have been lots of games that Manchester United have won this season. He's not been sure about it because the way they have won it. But here's uh, Salah trying to maybe catch Henderson out. He wasn't for the catching out, though. Just took a deflection here and took it towards the goalkeeper. No, maybe not. Doesn't really hit it with full power, does he, Mo Salah? He's certainly been the most dangerous player on the field. Two goals, three or four other chances. He looks back to his best at the moment. Well, at the start, Stuart, we were saying about attack being the best form of defence for Liverpool. It might be the best form of defence for Manchester United at the moment. They haven't been able to... Get as much controlled possession as they had for periods in the first half. Despite them being right up the top of the Premier League, they still do show signs of weakness defensively. Even the goal against Fulham, the midfield players trying to pass on a sender, a midfield runner to the defenders. The defenders not seeing it. That's happened a little bit today as well. Not reading danger quite quickly enough. No, you can get at them, and Liverpool are showing how true that is in this particular game. Fred. And Cavani, well, he was turned. He was fouled, and then he used the hand when he fell. But the first infringement was on the Uruguayan. Have a look, is it a decent pass in? Yeah, and he just takes a whack in the back of the leg, doesn't he? There from Fabinho, Fabinho who has been booked. One or two questions asked of Craig Pawson from Manchester United players about a second yellow, but from the neutral perspective, we really wouldn't want it going 11 against 10. It's been very good 11 against 11. Very, very enjoyable. It's the standout tie, living up to expectations. And Bruno Fernandes, who has great expectation, the weight of, on his shoulders. And this is one area where he does have great expertise, but Marcus Rashford, who's made one and scored one, is not departing the scene. Inside the last 15 minutes, if it's decided in 90. It's usually the player that puts the ball down that's going to take it, and that's Bruno Fernandes. Frank Paulson brings it forwards. Bruno Fernandes takes it back. <laughs> I think we're all good to go. Bruno Fernandes takes it, scores it, and does the magic again. This time as a scoring substitute to give Manchester United back the lead that they lost when Salah equalised to make it 2-2, and that foul by Fabinho has been heavily punished. It's a super strike where the Liverpool's defending was uh, maybe part of it. I'll leave that to Stuart Robson. Well, he places it in the corner. Alisson thinks he can see it. Maguire's in his way slightly. It goes over the top of Thiago. But it's hit with such power, such accuracy. I'm not sure Alisson could get across there. That's a brilliant free kick.
Does Thiago duck out the way? Pogba Did, certainly does. Did Allison start to go the other way as oh. well? But, uh, I guess you could say it's the goalkeeper's side of the wall, but Bruno Fernandes saw what was on. And yes, a couple of his teammates certainly helped by masking the view. And it's Manchester United 3, Liverpool 2. He was uh, very good in 2020, Bruno Fernandes. Acquired right at the end of the equivalent transfer window to the one we have at the moment a year ago. And he's uh, off and running already in 2021. Set-piece specialist, not just that, but uh, that is his party piece. Liverpool respond again. Cavani, who uh, earned the free kick, but this fellow punished. Here's uh, in by Wampasaka, Rashford, suspicion of offside. So we play on. Went with difficulty by Maguire. McTominay. And Basaka knew exactly what he wanted to do against Robertson. Looking for a fourth to really finish Liverpool off here. Made out by Rhys Williams. Mane. And uh, a free kick Liverpool lining up. <laughs> Changes. Jordan Sashiri and Divock Origi. Firmino is off. Still nowhere near his best, was he, Firmino? Uh, assist on the first goal was an example of his best, Thiago. The chance as well. And Shakiri's been uh, in and around the team much more in the last couple of weeks. And Origi's still here, despite suggestion that he might go out on loan or even perhaps be sold. A decent record as a scoring substitute. In the Champions League final, no less. McTominay. And Allison, as he did in the first half. Getting out quickly and uh, steering it away from danger. Robertson. that Robertson hasn't got forward a little bit more from this left-hand side. Now that Pogba is playing here on the right-hand side for Manchester United and playing infield, there's a lot of space for Robertson to get forward. So Shakiri settled into that central role that Thiago has left rather than go wider as a, an attacking play. He can pass it, and that's an example of it. I'm not sure in the first half when the ball was played to Salah, didn't get round on the cover. That time Wan Bissaka did. Made a good little interception there, an important one as well. Manchester United beat uh, Watford now, the championship relegated from the Premier League in the third round. And they're leading Liverpool here in the fourth. Inside the last 10 minutes, unless. Milner, just that chance for Salah for the hat-trick. Should have put Liverpool back into the lead. Jones. Now Milner, assessing the options. Uh, it's always difficult for the attacking players when the ball's veering away. In that position, Fabinho had made up a lot of ground to try and get in there. When you're bending those balls into the danger area, really, you want to just get them inside that far post so that if everybody misses it, it gives you a chance of scoring. Just overhit that one, Milner. That uh, sinking feeling for Jurgen Klopp that he hardly ever experienced last season, or indeed the season before. 
The only time he's really had it was that last season at Borussia Dortmund when they were almost in the relegation zone when he left. Pogba. Jones back out on the left again. Robertson. And Jones puts it in, but it'll run through to Dean Henderson. He's played for England. Came on as a substitute against the Republic of Ireland in the last round of international matches. Allison. It's time for the kitchen sink for Liverpool. The throw it at Manchester United. Anthony Martial. He did start the league game at Anfield a week ago, but wasn't 100% fit, didn't finish it. He's ready to play uh, a part here. These last few minutes, maybe to use his speed on the counter attack, because Liverpool have to take risks now. Williams. Paddy worked from Origi, a touch from Salah, and from Shakiri. That's very good defending by Bruno Fernandes. Stopping the supply into the middle. Martial to come on. And it's Marcus Rashford, who's had a profitable game here. Making the first, scoring the second. This is, this is a very tidy, a very confident finish. It was a confident finish because the ball was bobbling up. His first touch actually wasn't particularly good, was it? He controlled that ball into the corner of the net on the half volley. He's going straight off. I think he might have a slight injury here, Marcus Rashford. And Martial comes on. And uh, his famous debut was against Liverpool. He scored the, as a substitute, an outstanding individual goal. At the end that uh, the Stratford end that. United are now defending. I mean, he's off and running. And he's uh, not alone. Momentarily, Liverpool are outnumbered. They're getting uh, some reinforcements back. Mbappé, Fred, oh, Pogba. Not sure whether he meant to let that go or not. Gesturing that he thought Martial was in that area. That goes Maguire, but it's quite a weak header and. Mane was on to it. Shakiri. Can Liverpool pull it out of the fire here and take us to extra time at Old Trafford? Three minutes plus stoppage time to go. Curtis Jones. Fabinho. Williams. Hard to be patient in these circumstances, but Liverpool are doing that. Not just uh, lumping the ball in there. Fabinho. Plenty of thought about the pass, and Alexander Arnold did very well to keep it in. Knocks it against Shaw, his arm was down by his side. And here's uh, Bruno Fernandes. Again, Manchester United looking for the goal that will end all the resistance. Cavani. Not all looking for that goal. Well, actually, to be fair to Freddie, kept it alive. And Cavani hits the post with a fantastic header. Jackknife through the air. Well, that's what you expect of Cavani. Coming round the back, great run. Bruno Fernandes found him with a perfect cross. And a card for Lindelof. Incidentally, the uh, yellow cards in the FA Cup don't count in the Premier League. It's a self-contained tournament, this. 
Me. I think it's disappointment. Let off late on for Liverpool, keep them in the contest. Salah, now Shakiri. Rigi Shaw heads away, Martial, quite sure what the best pass was. Maguire helps him out. And the hearing, it's going to be four added minutes, which makes it five minutes left. Here's the chance again for Cavani, he's not interested here, he realised that Bruno Fernandes is on the ball, the timing of the run is perfect. Alexander-Arnold, Reese williams don't see the danger whatsoever. Everything but the wrong side of the post from Edison Cavani. Lindelof. Oh, and Pogba is going to head it back to his goalkeeper. Bruno Fernandes trying an expansive pass in the direction of Martial, who might still get involved, but Paulson needs to see how Origi is. Had some big moments, Steve Okarigi, in his Liverpool career. They could do with him supplying one in added time here. A risky header, wasn't it, from Paul Pogba <laughs> trying to get it back to his goalkeeper. Lindelof, it was so risky, headed it away. Maybe looked, made it look a bit riskier than it was. Because I think that would have got to the goalkeeper, Alisson taking on Cavani. Robertson. Mane, I don't know when Bissaka was signed for that kind of uh, tenacious tackling and uh, jockeying and pursuing opponents. From Crystal Palace. Now the Southerner is the other fullback, Luke Shaw. Caught up in this most historic of rivalries in English football, rivalries between. Not just the two football clubs between the two cities, and Liverpool and Manchester, and all sorts of aspects, finance, culture, anything you can think of, 30-odd miles apart, and, uh, and competition. And the two football clubs have really summed up. It was a fair rivalry now between, of course, Liverpool and Manchester City, after what's happened over the last uh, two or three years in the title races. This is the one that... Sets the, uh, the pulses racing, and the game has lived up to that. Five goals. Is there going to be a sixth? And is it going to be Liverpool's? Curtis Jones. And Pogba may not have had to make that challenge. But, uh... Well, he's beaten too easily to start with. His angle of approach was all wrong to Jones, and then trying to get back. Eventually gets the ball, but he'd already caught Curtis Jones here. Sliding to ground, there's the first challenge. Curtis Jones just stuck his leg in the way of it. It's a good bit of play. A very responsible play, ambitious play from Curtis Jones, not panicking. He's got a free kick. It's a free kick from which Manchester United got the seemingly vital fifth goal. It's a little bit wider for Liverpool to take on the direct approach. But can they come up? With a bit of uh, fortune or a plan towards Fabinho at the back post. Oh, and it was Salah. Right man, left foot, but not the right finish. And that might be the last opportunity. We almost have to strike this perfectly. Pogba with a decent header away. He wasn't quite lined up to hit it properly there. Comes off his shin almost. Just one minute left for Manchester United. And they go through to the next round. And I think it will give them a great deal of confidence for the Premier League as well. Pogba. And Fernandez gave it back to Pogba and setting off again, not really thinking about running down the clock. Well, he was very unhappy when he was taken off at Anfield last Sunday. And I don't suppose he was best pleased not to be in the starting lineup here today, but he's had his say, and it's the loudest shout. 
as we stand what, uh, 20 odd seconds away from the final whistle. Williams, when well, he's caught, and uh, in the end, it's uh, Fernandez who does the pressing, and he can just help Manchester United keep the ball here, and they are through. They have beaten the old rivals in a thrilling FA Cup tie here at Old Trafford. Bruno Fernandes stepped from the shadows of the bench to centre stage.